Hello, everyone. Welcome to the DMV Cup Season 2. It's that time of the year. Last year, it was bigger. This year, it's bigger, better, and probably more competitive, I would say. With me, I have Chris Vanto, captain of the Stars cricket team. Welcome, Chris. Thanks for having me, Arsh. Good to be here. Perfect. So how are the vibes for the tournament? Um, I think the boys, they're in a good headspace. Um, we're going to get um, one more session, one session in on um, tomorrow evening. Just, you know, camaraderie and stuff like that. But there's a lot of, the team is made up of a lot of different talents, local talents from the area. So we all have a feel of, you know, playing to, together before for the Memorial T10 tournament. So, yeah, we are ready, waiting. We're excited for it, man. Excellent, excellent. So, like this initiative, let's talk more about it, you know, the local players' promotion. Because yeah. we have seen tournaments outside where they're all paid players and professional players. And the locals don't really get a chance to shine, you know. There could be good people or good players that don't get that opportunity or exposure. And I think DMV Cup provides that for everyone. So, how's, like, the young talent around the DMV area and what are your thoughts about it? Well, first of all, my hats off to the organizers and everyone that's putting hands together to promote cricket within this area. I think for a very long time, you know, people around the country knows that there's a lot of great talent that came come, came out of this area playing, you know, what is franchise tournaments or any cricket around the country. So um, I think incorporating the local setup and giving opportunity to the locals is very important. Um, I think it it, it, it grows and it, it sets a base for talent within the area. Um, I think you are right. There's it's a lot of tournaments where like people like myself, the other bodies yeah. of the world, Juicy and the whole gang, you know, we all go and play tournaments around the year, around the country. And I think we do a good job of coming back and trying to rub off yes. um, with the local talent. Um, for some of us, we're we're part of the youth development structure setup, and you know we get a chance to give back, so to speak. And I like being a servant of the sport. Um, but with tournaments like these, it will give opportunity to rub shoulders more with the local guys. And I think last year, for me personally, um, it was really good to rub shoulders with um, other wicket keeper batters and other people that you know players that um, are talented in their own right. And then we shared ideas and questions, you know. And I think what it will do is just promote and strengthen the talent structure within the DMV area. Absolutely. And that gives the chance for the local players to grow, gain from your experience and other yeah. players. And, and a wonderful point that you raise, like the camaraderie between not only you, you being a wicketkeeper batsman, talking to others, just seeing what technique or what special are they doing, or maybe they take some pointers from you, okay? This is working for Chris. Maybe take advantage of it. So coming to the team composition, I mean, would love to learn more about the key players that your team has and other teams should be like beware of. Apart from you, of course, I, I know how you play, but without like for them to plan or you know give them sleepless nights. What do you think? Who are the key players for your team? <laughs> so I think um we we came to a. Uh... An agreement, an understanding, and this is what I like about this team. Um, I, I partnered and collaborated with um, Abed and JC, and we 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 think we always thought think about diversity, and um, we we're trying to like you know get a mixed culture. We have um, a lot of youngsters, like some um, youth players. We have some like emerging players. There's now crossing over from that youth development structure into like you know under 23s or whatnot. And then you know we have the old guys. Myself, <laughs> um, we have Juice a part of the team as well. Um, Theo Barnett, um, just to name a few. Uh, so the team comprised of a little bit of of, of diversity, I would say. You have a little bit of flavor, and some Caribbean flavor, some Indian oh, sure. flavor. Yeah, a little, little bit <laughs> Afghanistani. <laughs> amazing amazing and that's what you know dmv stands for you bring all the cultures everybody together and towards a common goal that that's awesome you know yeah so i mean we can count star cc winning the championship i don't think anyone has set out to, to um play a, a tournament they should if you're not thinking about championship then i don't know what you're thinking about but i know with myself and juice uh, we play competitive cricket um, the guys that we picked on the roster, they all want to win. So we're in a good headspace. And I'm hoping that, you know, that little 
opportunity we had the last tournament, the, the last local tournament, mm -hmm. it would roll over and then we would like, you know, gel some more and let us go deep. There's it, 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 a lot of talent around and a lot of big teams, you know. Um, so we just want to play our brand and then yes. create a new DNA because um, this initiative that we're taking, um, we just took a team to Michigan for a Champions okay. Cup. We did mm -hmm. a little tryout and we had a lot of local um, local talent. So we just want to create a little DNA moving forward. So No, that's fantastic. So that was Chris Van Til, captain of the Stars cricket team. Looking forward to playing with you. And of course, I am participating, but it will be fun to bring the rivalry in the field. Thank, right, you. thank you for having me. <laughs>